our next group is Project Learn. Please welcome Project Learn. And two members not here today are Robin Younger and Tiffany Montgomery. Um, so the issue that we were trying to tackle was the fact that in America, less students are graduating from STEM fields due to lack of um, their interest in the subjects. And as you can see um, by the graph, um, China has almost around nine times more STEM graduates than in the U.S. And this could be due to various factors, such as just the lack of interest, um, the lack of proper resources and encouragement in their schools. And the only way, the way we decided to tackle this was to, by taking small steps and focusing in our community. To expand on that, we decided to work on two school locations, one at OXA school and one at South Loop Elementary School. Each member would create an individual lesson plan with a STEM subject and we did approximately eight and nine. So to measure our impact, at the end of the year, we would have a survey and we would see what the students memorized from the beginning all the way towards the end of the program. Um, our goals were to inspire students to actually want to do things in the STEM field instead of not liking it or thinking that math and science were hard or nerdy and we wanted to like show them how they could apply it to their actual lives and make a difference. Um, uh, as, as we mentioned before, we focused on two schools. So in this school, this was Aksa School, and on the two pictures on the left, we, uh, this was our, actually our physics project, and we taught, we taught them various concepts such as uh, momentum, collision, uh, the laws of motion, and from there we did the egg drop experiment where they had to construct uh, a container that could keep a raw egg from cracking when dropped from a height of around 30 feet. And on the right, we taught them about the various fields of engineering, such as uh, biomedical engineering and genetic engineering. And to demonstrate what a civil engineer could do, uh, we asked them to construct a tower that could be able to withstand a earthquake. These are some of the projects we did in South Loop, um, where you see my hands on that plate of stuff. We made oublet, which is just cornstarch and water, and the kids really liked that. We talked about the states of matter with that. We also did a lung model with water balloons and water bottles to show them how they breathe. As the program went on, we became, we saw that the students were really engaged in our projects from their questions, their comments, and their participation. Success at the end of the year, we measured it with a, with a jeopardy in lieu of a survey. We found that the students really enjoy the sciences and they will continue to do science courses in high school and beyond in colleges and careers. Um, I feel like the things that we took most from this project are really learning how to be leaders because Keeping a room of 20 or 30 nine-year-olds and 10-year-olds occupied is difficult. So that was one thing we learned. And also, it was kind of hard with the like nine of us in a group to get all in one place or talk about the same thing at the same time. Or sometimes one person didn't get an email that everyone else did. So communication and leadership skills are things that we took a lot from this. And even though they're hard to occupy, little kids are really fun to teach, and they're really cute. My little boy, TJ, he said I was one of his favorites. So. <laughs> All right, thank you. We would also like to thank our mentors, Ezra and Lori. Ezra couldn't make it, and Lori is here. Um, thank you for helping us with our lesson plans, and thank you for making Project Learn a great success. Thank you.